Hello Collective, it's your girl Tiffany, and Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. So remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages for the overall collective. Somebody could be reminiscing, thinking back um, on something from the past here. This could have to do with a large amount of money. Maybe somebody is thinking back when they had a lot of money or something like that. Yeah. Um, maybe because somebody is dealing with some type of burdens or hardships or problematic situations right now. Maybe somebody is just feeling stressed and overworked, overwhelmed in some type of way. Um, maybe because you have too, a lot of responsibility or, you know, more on you than you can bear at this time. Okay. Yeah, it is so it it is really amazing how um the, the wicked manipulates energy. Okay. It's a trip. How to it is it, never mind guys. You you wouldn't understand if I tried to explain it to you, but yeah, so somebody could be thinking back, reminiscing. Um on the past here, okay? I feel like a lot has changed um, in your life, okay? Perhaps maybe you were at, maybe you were making more money, maybe you were doing better at a particular point in time in life and um, something has changed, okay? We have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck, so there could be some type of gossip, rumor, slander, backstabbing, backbiting going on, maybe even some type of um, stalking or even harassment or just watching you um, struggle, okay, because the Ten of Wands is in the middle of the deck here, yeah, a lot of things has changed in your life, and you could just be thinking about when things were better, when things were easier for you or something, okay? Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? I feel like... Mm, there's a lot of things that has caused you a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sadness, sorrow, misery, okay? You could be, while you're thinking back on the past here, you could be like in mental conflict, stress, worry, depressed, dealing with anxiety, um, maybe even overthinking. I feel like um, the abundance that you had before maybe you were manifesting, there was a lot of, uh, maybe you were manifesting more in your life at the time, okay? Yeah. Something has you stuck in some type of way, okay? Some type of tower situation that occurred in your life, something chaotic, something tragic, something all of a sudden out the blue caused you a lot of burdens and hardships and problematic situations in your life spirit is saying okay yeah this could have something to do with family here i feel like um whatever this tower that you have experienced this tower moment that you have experienced these hardships these burdens have been caused um, because of your supposed family, which I wouldn't even claim them as family. 
Spirit, what else is going on here? There's definitely an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, that could be the cause of your burdens, your hardships. There's also a fire sign. I don't know why, but there's a there's a queen of wands and there's a queen of swords that is like tag team partners working together. They keep popping out in my readings, okay? These people could be persons that's, that's in your life, in your family, or something like that. They keep coming up. They keep popping out in my ring, okay? But they're like literally tag team partners, okay? They're like an evil, fucking wicked duo working together against someone here, okay? We have the strength card here, the sitting here with your energy, okay? Um, you've had to be really strong to stand your ground, to overcome your haters, your oppressors, your naysayers, okay? You've had to have courage and strength and faith. Okay, to endure the things that you've endured, okay? Because so many so much so many things have changed in your life here, okay? I also feel like there could have been some type of spell work, witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo that was done to attack maybe your financial stability and security here. Yeah, a lot of things have been going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back in secret. Which that's usually how cowards work. They can't do shit or say shit to your face. So they work against you behind your back. And then they sit back and watch. Okay. Think there could be some type of changes that's coming in for you here. I do see there being some type of growth. Are you still having a lot of passion and drive to take action and to move forward in your life? Okay, but there's a lot of conflict here. There's a lot of conflict and defeat that you have gone through. This is because of a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is because of a Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is because of a Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, these people have gone over and beyond to work against you. Yeah, there are people who are collaborated together teamed up linked up schemed up working together plot and plan and scheming um to to work against you these are also the same people who are gossiping about you uh, slandering you backstabbing you um ridiculing you judging you working against you when it's interesting because whatever whatever you're going through whatever you're dealing with you have dealt with these issues because of what these people have done to you. Not because of, of, of laziness, craziness, um, wrongful wrongdoing on your part or anything like that. You understand what I'm saying? There's betrayal here, okay? You could have been betrayed by a mother or a mother figure who is working very hard, who has been working hard for the last seven years to try to, to, to really sabotage you, ruin you, stab you in your back, end you in some type of way. This person is chained to the devil. This person sold his soul to the devil. Okay, this person is very evil, wicked, toxic, demonic. They may try to come off like appear like they're not, but this person is ch chained to the devil here. Okay, there's something very sinister or off about this person here. Okay, this person has placed some type of judgment on you. Okay, this person's trying to play God in your life, trying to create their own judgment, their own uh, karma in your life. When they should, they should be facing judgment and karma, they own damn self. They're going to pay for this. Okay, yeah. These people have uh, tried to keep you stuck as well. So we're going to get some further clarification for the situation, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Some of you all may be dealing with loneliness right now. You may be um, secluded, isolated, in solitude to yourself, by yourself. You may be a natural introvert, but you 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 could be dealing with some type of loneliness here. I feel like I'm talking to somebody where you have no family, you have no friends, you have no uh, lover or spouse, you have no support system, okay? Um, you could be experiencing some dullness or disappointment or even isolation in your life.
You could be feeling overloaded or overwhelmed here. Somebody, whoever has been doing this spell work on you, they have, they have done this like excessively, like over and over again. Spirit is saying. So clarify this Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. So we have daydreaming here, okay? So you're thinking back to when you had a lot of money, okay? When you were doing well, when you were blossoming, when you were thriving, okay? And I feel like other people did things to sabotage and ruin this, okay? This could be your finances, your money, your resources, your stability, your security, your work, your career, your occupation, your job, your hobbies, or what have you. Spirit, clarify um, Ten of Wands with the Tower and the Ten of Cups. These people have tried to treat you like a puppet. And they are the puppet masters, okay? They have tried to dominate you, control you, possess you, manipulate you. Um, you've dealt with some, some dictators. You've had dictators in your life that's tried to dominate and control you in some type of way. And they're the ones who, like, are causing you these burdens and hardships, okay? Likely because you are not who they want you to be. I feel like as long as you were brainwashed and dumbed down and under mind control and... and, and you wasn't awakened to these people true colors and who they really were and they were able to play in your face while stabbing you in your back and lie to you to your face and everything it was all good but the moment that you woke up the moment that you rose up the moment that you spoke up okay it was a problem all of a sudden you was a problem okay um and these people began to band together work together to work against you okay because of this yeah Spirit, what else is going on? They're literally trying to play God in your life. Want to control your life. How you live. What you have. What you don't have. What you do. if you How you succeed. How you progress. And shit. Okay? But I feel like you have lived and you have learned a lot. Okay? You have experienced a lot. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, I'm seeing family again. Again, this is family. That uh, supposed family that has done this to you. I wouldn't claim them folks. And I, they, they, they shouldn't fix their mouth to fucking claim you. Okay? Because family don't do each other like this. Family is supposed to love one another. Support one another. Have one another's back. Teach, guide, uplift one another. Yeah, spirit is saying, whoever you are, you're a sweetheart. You're someone who is kind and nurturing and loving and giving. See, as long as you were, like I said, blind to their ill wills, to their ill doing to you, and you gave all of you to them, you were you were likely kind and generous and giving to them. They they took they smiled up in your face while stabbing you in your back because they're backstabbers, okay? And they took everything that you had to offer, everything that you had to give to them, love, support, and everything. While they were against you the entire time, Spirit is saying. They were never for you. They never loved you. They never cared about you. They never supported you. They never had your back. You were likely the black sheep of your of the family, the escape goat. Okay. You were likely uh, uh, isolated, abandoned. They could have set you up to be targeted and gang stalked on purpose. Okay, I guarantee you, if you have gone through some type of awakening, some type of ascension, if you. Um, Awaken to your life purpose and stepped upon your life, you know, and your your, your uh, spiritual path. You began, you if you noticed this when you started being attacked. It seemed like everybody was against you. Complete strangers. Your entire family. Your mother's side. Your father's side of the family. The government. The industry. Any and everybody that you came in contact with or around you. People who don't even know you from Adam. Okay? That's when you begin to see people's true colors. That's when you begin to see. Because before... These people were around you all along. They were in plain sight. You didn't know that witches and warlocks was around you all along. You didn't know that Satanists and devil worshippers was around you all along. You didn't know that these sellouts was around you all along. You didn't know um, those of them in these cults and these covens and these secret societies and in gang stalking groups and other shit that they belong to. These people were around you all along in plain sight and you had no idea until you awaken. And when you awaken 
and the most high showed you their true colors and their most and you seen the demons within within them they thought they were hurting you by isolating you but you had no problem with cutting them off for good. See, they thought they was going to isolate you and just pop in and out your life randomly once or twice a year when it was convenient for them. Because, see, the majority of the time, they want you to feel isolated and abandoned and neglected. And, and, and they want to watch you juggle and struggle. And then they want to pop in and out when it's convenient to fuck for them and, and act like they're caring and loving and generous to you and shit like that. And then they ghost you again. That's how narcissists do. If you notice, the one thing about a narcissist, when you're showing a narcissist that you love them and you care about them and you're calling them and you're checking up on them and you're in their life, they act like they don't have time for you. They're dismissive. They act like you're bothering them, like you're codependent, like you are needy and clingy. The moment that you back away from them, the moment that you cut them off, that's when they're pissed off. That's when they feel some type of way. That's when they attack you more and then they have the audacity to attack you. For not being blind anymore, not being stupid anymore, and not allowing them to use you and abuse you anymore. So they grow mad because it's like, how dare you not let me abuse you? How dare you not allow me to lie to you anymore? How dare you not allow me to hurt you anymore? How dare you not allow me to breadcrumb you anymore? How dare you not allow me to string you along anymore? How dare you not allow me to hurt you anymore? Because all while you were asleep, they were doing this. The majority of your life, they were doing this. Every lover you had did this. Every supposed friend you had did this. All your family members did this. It's like everybody that you was around was in on this inside joke except for you. But you had no clue that this was going on until you went through an awakening. Once they realized that you went through an awakening, they all scattered like roaches. And they band together. To set you up, to target you, to gang stalk you. To blackball you, to red list you, to flag you. And those of them who belong to these uh, 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 these secret societies, these Freemasons and these Eastern Stars and shit. They, 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 these people are all there saturated within your community. And they have connections with other people who are higher in fucking power. Who work like cowards behind the scenes. To block you. Block you from getting help. Block you from getting assistance. Block you from having support. Block you from getting jobs. Block you. They even block your love life. They don't even want you to have love, happiness, fulfillment. A family of your own. They don't even want you with someone who loves you, who supports you, who cares about you. And y'all build a family together and work together. They don't want you to have that type of stability, security. So they do things on purpose to keep you stuck. And the only people who come your way are low vibrational as people. Low grade people. Low level people. Toxic individuals. Yeah. So we're clear by the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. You're dealing with a lot of burdens and hardships. I see readiness here. You ready, set, go. Okay. You're making preparations. You're prompt. You could be making arrangements. You're ready for some type of change in your life. You're ready for growth. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on. And if you have to do so by yourself without anybody, then so be it. If you have to be single for the rest of your life, celibate for the rest of your life, then so be it. If you never have a friend in life, then so be it. If you don't have not one family member that you can lean on, that you can that you can cry on the shoulders on, that, that, that loves you, supports you, and really have your back, then so be it. If your health and your well-being and your mental stability and your peace of mind means being alone, then so be it. Because I'm not going to be wrong for you to be right. And I'm not going to lower my standards and my worth. Just to be in the company of some ops. Just to be in the company of some people who do not have my best interests at heart anyway. Just to be in the company of some people who want to use me. For you to come up. You can do bad by yourself. 
I'm pretty sure those of you who are single or celibate right now, you can have sex right now tonight if you wanted to. So, you know, the people who, are, you know, think they're doing something special by doing some type of little love spells on you or your life, you know, to keep you from having sex or to keep you from getting, I, you can have sex right now tonight if you was willing to, to, to screw a, a op that's low vibrational. That's going to breadcrumb you and short change you and, and, and try to hold you. That's going to lie to you, cheat on you, abuse you, mistreat you. You understand what I'm saying? You can you could you could have some fake ass op ass sold out ass friends right now if you just wanna have a group of motherfuckers around you, a circle of individual of fake friends. I'm you I'm you, you I'm pretty sure you, you can you can find those people anywhere. Yeah. So that's what's going on here. Some of you are also going through what you're going through. Uh, they, they place these burdens on you. They're, they're trying to dominate you, control you, manipulate you. Some of y'all are full grown. I'm talking about full, full grown. I'll be over the hill. Like uh, uh, in another week or so. March the 6th. Okay. I'll be officially middle aged. 40 years old. Okay. And still got people trying to dictate in my life, dominate me, control me, manipulate me. I'm full grown with a child of my fucking own that's damn near grown that will legally be considered grown in three fucking years. And you still trying to fucking control me in my fucking life. That's how you know some, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They done slipped and bumped their fucking head or some shit. Because, and excuse my language. But this kind of shit pisses me off. How the fuck are you full damn grown with kids of your own? And you got motherfuckers around you that wants to dictate to you what you can and can't do. And what you should and shouldn't have. And trying to, trying to control you, manipulate you, hurt you, harm you. And if you ain't who the fuck they want you to fucking be, then you under fucking vigorous attack. Who in the fuck is 40 years old on, on all fours, on your hands and fucking knees, begging somebody please to do anything for you, to love you, to care about you, to have your back to support you? Fuck that. I'll go without before I ever do that shit. I can't speak for everybody. Maybe you feel that way too. And, 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 and we all want to uh, to succeed. You know, not everybody wants some damn fame and fortune. And you know what I'm saying? Want to be uh, of some household name and on the TV screens and in the magazines and all this other kind of shit. I am very humble. You understand what I'm saying? We all want to do well in life and, and, and not have to juggle, not have to struggle, not have to live uh, uh, paycheck to paycheck, not, uh, you know what I'm saying, not have to rob Peter to pay Paul, not have to scrape and, you know what I'm saying, have enough money to have savings in the bank, have insurances and different things that you need, have enough money to pay all your bills and enough money left over to buy some things that you want or you need as well and live comfortably. That's a simple life. It's like nothing extra. Or flamboyant about that. You understand what I'm saying? And plenty of people have talent, skills, and abilities. But there's a lot of people who have talent, skills, and abilities. And don't mind exercising those talent, skills, and abilities. On a humble fucking level. I don't, give, I don't care shit about no fame. I'm an empath. I ain't mean, like a bunch of people in my fucking energy at one time because I can feel everybody's damn energy and shit. So I ain't got to be center stage, lights, camera, action. Standing in front of uh, the hundreds of thousands of millions of people. Like, yeah, you don't know. People who strive after that, them the ones who have to sell their soul and do stupid shit to have all of that. But I'd be damned if all weak, simple-minded Sold out Uncle Tom as yes a massa as fools round here. 
Sending you through hell and high water just to have a humble fucking life. Just to have regular shit in life. The bare necessities in life to live comfortably. The way you want to. With your own goddamn life. It's ridiculous. Because you know what? When you was up. And in and, and a time when you was doing good and feeling good and looking good and had it all, you had a bunch of fake ass motherfuckers in your face and you gave everything you fucking had to them bitches. And ain't none of them around to do a damn thing for you today. I don't know about you, but I, I have never told nobody I love them first. Never in my life. Because it's your first, it's the first test that I give a person. To let me know that your ass is a filthy fucking liar. Every person that I have ever known. You stood in my face. You looked me in my eye. You told me you loved me and you lied. And you had no idea that I was psychic or I was empathic and I knew you was lying. But you know what? Because of the love in me. Because of the God in me. I dealt with you anyway. I showed you love anyway. And I did not let you know that I knew that you was a rotten filthy ass liar. That was the first lie you told me. And people I, I've given conversation to or been in relationships with, you tell me you love me within, within hmm, three weeks to a couple months of fucking knowing you. Everybody I've ever met. I've never told nobody I love them first. And none of them people that ever told me that they love me do I have today. I'm doing a damn thing for me. Love is an action word. Anybody can say I love you. I hear people offer offer lies to people out there. And that's what you that's what people do. Offer lies. Nobody asked you for that lie. It's one thing for you, somebody to ask you a question and you fucking lie to them. It's another thing when you offer a fucking lie. Like I telling somebody I love you. No, you don't. Oh, you love the person as long as they who you the fuck want them to be. As soon as they ain't who you fucking want them to be, you don't love them no more, huh? If God loved like that, the majority of y'all be fucking gone a long damn time ago. A long damn time ago. But see, the, 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 them the same people who offer lies like I love you is the same people who claim that they are real and the same people who expect other people to be real with them and say that they want real. But they ain't real they damn selves. See, God type of love love all kinds of people. These motherfuckers type of love is conditional. They don't even love you to begin with. But they semi, they halfway act like they love you as long as you're doing what they want them to do. Depending on who you're dealing with. As long as you're sucking and fucking, somebody might act like they love you. As long as you're being generous, they might act like they love you. As long as you, 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 uh, 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 a person can use you and abuse you. Or you bending over backwards for a person, they can act like they love you. That's how it is. People lie. That's what's going on here. These people are trying to force you to homelessness by trying to by bullying you in some type of way. They're trying to force you to homelessness. This is the reason why they have attacked your finances, your money, your resources here. This is what these people gossiping about and talking about and spreading rumors about. They are the ones who stabbed you in your back and betrayed you here. Okay? The government forces people to homelessness on purpose. Nobody wakes up one day and decides they want to be homeless. This is the reason why somebody is, is, is reminiscing on the past thinking back. At one point in time you had a car. 
You was working hard. You were saving up your money, stacking up money. Maybe had thousands of dollars in the bank. You doing good. Your bills was being paid on time. You wouldn't have to depend on other people. But see, what narcissists do is narcissists lie. So behind your back, the narcissist told people that you were codependent. That you were needy, that you were clingy, that you couldn't make it without them, that you would come running back to them, but you didn't. And it made them look stupid. So then they got mad. And so then they did things like black magic and voodoo to attack your finances. Thinking if they made you lose money, then you would surely call them then. You would surely need something from them then. That way they can weasel their way back into your energy. Just to hurt you and harm you again. Because ultimately what they're trying to do is to sacrifice you. These people don't love you. They don't care about you. They're trying to sacrifice you for their own gain. You're not, you're not in relations with, with who they want you to be in relations with. You're being attacked. When I made a conscientious, conscientious decision that I was no longer going to be a lesbian, that I was no longer going to mess with women anymore, because I came out when I was like 13 years old, 12, 13 years old, something like that. Like it wasn't nobody's business, okay? And I fooled with women my entire life, but I've never been with one woman that actually loved me. And actually cared about me. And when that shit was over, it was me that was left with nothing. It was me having to start all over. It was me who had to pick up the pieces and, 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 and start all over again. I wasted the best years of my life with women. And this was well before they even passed. Gay marriage. Which means I did so without any fucking benefit. See, the majority of a lot of you who are heterosexual. Whether you have babies with men or you end up getting married to these men or what have you. Should the shit not work, you at least have some benefit when you leave that situation. It's not like that when you are a lesbian. Especially before the time. And I was with my last girlfriend of 11 years when they finally decide to pass gay marriage. And we, and we still didn't get married. Because I was with somebody that didn't even love me. That didn't care about me. That was an op. That was paid. To be with me just to sabotage my life. Thinking they was going to sacrifice me. And use my child for what they wanted to use my child for. But this is what's going on, y'all. This is what's going on. They're trying to ultimately sacrifice you. For some type of financial gain. Those of them that's in these secret societies, these cults and these covens and things, they are they they are under some type of contract. They have taken the, you know these blood contracts where they take these oaths and they have offered you up as a sacrifice. See the white folks behind the scenes, they the ones who run rule and control all that shit. They like to sit behind the scenes and act like they don't know shit and act like their hands is clean, but they are the ones who 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 tell them whoever the leaders of these groups that they have that they have to come off some type of sacrifice. Blood sacrifice. Of their children or grandchildren or whatever whatever. Okay? And sacrifices is different. A blood sacrifice is 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 the life of someone. Which means they set you up to, to be uh, killed in some type of way. But people are also sacrificed in other ways. Some people are sold into sex slavery. Some people are sold out to the, to the government for a human experimentation. Some people are sold out to the industry. To be used and abused as, 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 as uh, uh, um, child stars and entertainers and different things like that. Some of them is set up for uh, 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 to be uh, institutionalized and imprisoned in different things. People sacrifice in different ways. But most of you are unaware that it's your punk ass family, persons in, in your punk ass family who are sellouts, who offered you up as a sacrifice. It's the reason why you ended up getting fucked over like that. Yeah. 
And it may be hard for you to believe because most people, you have been trained to believe that your, your, your that blood is thicker than water. And no matter what, at the end of the day, no matter what friends you have, what lover you have, what's going on on the job, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the government, you, all you have to fall back on is your family and the church. And they both have deceived you. They both have lied to you. They both have betrayed you. As a matter of fact, your family and the church betrayed you. Those of you that came up in the church, your family and your church lied to you, betrayed you, and stepped you in your fucking back well before you ever stepped out into the damn world to know what the world was about. That's a matter of fact. Yeah. They did this to trap you, victimize you, allure you, trick you. Spirit is saying. Yeah. I keep seeing the death card here. They're trying to blood sacrifice you. They're trying to cause your death. I also see robbery card here. They also, they're trying to steal something from you, rob you of something as well. Yeah. I keep seeing this homelessness. The more I shuffle, it keeps coming back up. They're trying to force you to homelessness. But even if I was homeless and on the street, baby, I'm going to get some somewhere uh, every day to make sure I wash up and my ass is clean, my hair is combed, my teeth is brushed, and I change my clothes. Even if I'm homeless, I'm going to still be in my life purpose. I'm going to still speak truth and clarity. So if you think forcing somebody to homelessness... It's going to get me out of my life purpose that somehow, because these people also attack you with the hopes that you would give up. The more and more that you are without, maybe you would give up, maybe you would give in. At the very least, they want you to give up. But they really would hope that you would sell out. So it would make it easier to sacrifice you on down the line. Well, baby, if my, even if I was homeless on the street, baby. I'd be the best looking homeless person outside. I bet you I wouldn't be on no damn dope. I bet you I wouldn't be no uh, scummy drunk. I bet you I wouldn't be out there turning tricks. Trying to hit, uh, uh, hit a lick so I can get a hit. I bet you that. I'd be out there with a, uh, if, and, and I wouldn't be out there panhandling and begging neither. I, if I put up a damn sign, I'd be out there with a sign that says, Targeted individual that has been blackballed by the United States government in need of work. See, a person can't deny it. They can turn the other way and they can roll their eyes and smack their lips and say, Lord, look at this old lazy homeless person out here, drug addict, uh, drunk. They can assume any damn thing about you. But you out there with a sign, unlike anybody else's sign, talking about, talking about uh, 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 homeless and needing some money and this and that. And that. No, fuck that. I need a job because if I have a job, I can make money to take care of my damn self. And see, what they don't understand is, is they're stupid because forcing people to homelessness. You technically, a person can technically live and survive being homeless. There's actually a whole lot of services available for homeless people. There are food pantries for food. A homeless person can even get the bare minimum of food stamps. The government supplies free phones because you know they want to track and trace you. That's the reason why they give you them free phones. They don't give a damn whether or not you can talk to some damn body or not. They want to be able to track and trace you so they give you free. The government offer free phones. So you can have your phone. You can get you some food. You can go to the shelters when the weather's too bad. Okay? All of that is coming out of your tax dollars. You're going to pay for a person to be homeless if you want to. Instead of allowing a person to be a productive member of society like you claim that you want. Instead of allowing an able body to be able to work and to provide for themselves and their children. But no. Because you're so high and mighty. Because you're so big. Because you think you're so fucking powerful. You want to do your hocus pocus black magic voodoo. 
and in and, and manipulation of technologies and targeting people and gang sucking, harassing people to the point of homelessness. So they won't have anything at all. Just just for what? Laughs? That laugh ain't gonna last too motherfucking long. That little chuckle ain't gonna last too motherfucking long. Because guess what? There's still services available to even homeless people that come at your tax dollars, stupid. See, people are stupid. People don't think about that. They don't expect you to think about that. Even people who set people up to be in prison and different things like that, that comes out of your tax dollars, stupid. There's a roof over their head. They have a cell to sleep in. They have a uh, 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 they have uh, uh, meals to eat. Even the uniforms that they wear all comes out of fucking tax dollars. Tax dollars from working class people. When you could have just left this person to fuck alone. When you could have just uh, uh, allowed this able-bodied person. To work and take care of their business and live a humble life to take care of their damn self. But no, you so bad. You Michael Jackson bad around this bitch. Are you and the man want to stick it to you? Are we determined rather not? You got this or you got that. Okay then. Okay then. Boss. Okay then, master. Well, whenever you get through, it's your damn money. That's going to even pay. For the homeless person to live. That's going to even pay for the imprisoned persons. The institutionalized persons. Yeah. It costs to house people anywhere. It costs to clothe them people. It costs to feed them people. It costs to medicate them people. All that shit costs. You technically are coming out of more money doing that than you would be leaving a person to fuck alone and allow them to live their goddamn life. But this is what's going on, y'all. This is what's going on. So ain't no needing you worrying about it. If you've tried your best if you if if you done the best that you can, see this is the reason why I tell my child the truth. My child ain't haven't wanted hasn't ever wanted for anything except the people who has been out of her not been a part of her life. She don't have a father in her life. She don't have grandparents in her life. She don't have siblings in her life. She don't have cousins in her life. She don't have aunts or uncles in her life. None of them. She she couldn't even tell you these people first and last night. She couldn't tell you where they live. She couldn't tell you shit about them. Because they ain't never been there for it. Supported her. Showed her no love. Took care of her in any kind of goddamn way. They couldn't tell you her favorite color. Her clothing size. Shoe size. How old she is. When her birthday is. What medication she take. What disability she got. Her favorite. Any damn thing. Favorite food. Favorite drink. Nothing. I go through anything to make sure my baby ain't without nothing. My baby haven't been without anything, but I told her don't get comfortable. Because as sure as you feel comfortable right now, as sure as you got all these things right now, you got these gadgets and you got you got your games and your and your phones and your tablets and your your, your flat screen TVs and your toys and your, your 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 scooters and your skateboards and all this other kind of shit that I done made possible for you to have. And I'm a sporter because she ain't got nobody else. But I tell her the fucking truth about this damn world. I don't I don't sugarcoat her with no regurgitated ass bullshit that we was told growing up. Because that ain't the real fucking world. Tell your kids the truth. And I let her know. As sure as you got this shit today, it could be gone tomorrow. This world don't love you. Nobody in this world love you. And they don't even halfway act like they do. Unless you are who they want you to fucking be. 
Unless you sucking them and fucking them and giving them something to make them feel good. Or giving them something that they want. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares about you. See, those of them who act like they righteous and upstanding and pillars of the community, they act like they conservative. They act like uh, 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 they the do-gooders. But they don't really want you to do good. Because when you're really living righteously, when you're really living holy, when you're really speaking truth and clarity, when you really have a clear mind, body and soul and spirit, when you really step into your life purpose, when you really are striving towards greatness, striving towards your destiny, that's when they got a problem with you. That's when every demon, devil, entity, deity, witch, warlock is conjured up the fucking work against you. It's a damn shame that when I lived in sin, I slept peacefully. I didn't want for shit. I had women and men that wanted me. And was willing to give me anything I wanted. When I was living in sin. When I was living in sin, I didn't have no problem with nobody gang stalking me, harassing me, uh, 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 following me, watching me, illegally surveillancing me, or any damn thing like that. Or even if they was, they wasn't making it known. Because I'm, I happen to be someone that's been watched all my damn life. Because I was sought out as a child to the government, so they've not always been doing this to me. I'm living a real life Truman sh show. Life. That movie was probably made the fuck about me. Y'all sitting back watching my life right now in real goddamn time. Ain't none of you gonna tell the truth about it, but you is. It's a damn shame that when I lived in sin. When you drinking and smoking weed and partying and kicking it and having a good time and turning up and all up and down the highways and the byways and doing all how you want to do because you want to do like you do. I've been groaning on my own since I was fucking 16 to fuck years old. Like literally doing what the fuck I wanted to do. Them folks know exactly where the fuck I was at. They weren't, they, they, they weren't uh, uh, coming for me like that. At all. I haven't ever been pimped out, set out, turned out on nobody, whole stroll, strip a pole, or no shit like that. And I came up around thugs and pimps. For real. Hoes for real. Gangsters for real. And none of them would dare hold me like that. Or they wouldn't live to tell about it. But here I am. About to be 40 years old. And got folks trying to dictate my goddamn life. You won't tell me right and the fuck wrong. I ain't have a mother and a fucking father tell me right and fucking wrong. What the fuck make you think? Whoever the fuck you are. You gonna right or wrong me. When you living in sin every goddamn day. When you's a whole goddamn sellout. When you demonically possessed. When you a devil worshiper. When you a witch, a warlock. When you sinister and evil, you can't tell me nothing. Y'all around here in your prostitution rings and human trafficking rings and sex rings and all type of things. I ain't never been a part of that shit. Never been a part of that shit. Period. But because I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Who you want me to be? It's a problem. I started being attacked from not, for deciding not to be gay no more. That's from not fooling with women anymore. And it's interesting. Because it was just the fact of not being with women anymore. I could have been with a woman and fucked a man when I wanted to and it would have been just fine. 
But the fact of me completely deciding not to be lesbian anymore and fucking with women anymore, I was attacked by the whole fucking gay community. These motherfuckers came for me like I had did them something wrong personally. When the whole LGBT, I mean, the LGBT community, first of all, the B it stands for bisexual. Fuck you mean. They're hypocrites. And the gay community is some of the biggest, the biggest gang that is around. The most ruthless. The biggest fucking bullies. The fuck around and be the main ones parading around. Oh, accept me for me. Don't discriminate against me. And what I'm about and what I like and forcing your life upon every damn body else. And every goddamn thing. But as soon as you ain't cool, the gay community wants you to fucking be. You under attack by the gay community. Just by making up your own goddamn decisions. And your own fucking life. Never mind the fact nobody, I ain't never been with nobody that actually loved me. I ain't never had true love. I haven't ever experienced happiness and fulfillment a day before in my life. When I felt good and, and, and perhaps a smile, having a smile on your face is not happiness. When I felt good and had a smile on my face, it's because it was because of me. I spoiled me. Not nobody else. I done did things for people that they ain't never fucking done for me. And y'all probably have too. Until I got to the point where I went through an awakening at 30. And I looked myself in the mirror. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I, 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 I made the conscientious decision that I'm no longer. I'm living my life trying to please and appease other damn people that didn't give a damn about me. Their only interest was to use me and abuse me and to get what they could get the fuck out of me. And that was it. But at the end of the day, I had I didn't have shit to show for any damn thing that I had to fucking been through. So I was like, fuck it. I could have everything. Drinking, smoking, partying, having sex, cut it off, cold fucking turkey. I didn't give a damn. Fuck it. It wasn't getting me no damn where. And all of a sudden I'm under attack. You would think, you would think it'd be the other way around. You would think because especially when you hear these ignorant ass people always talking about judgment and calm and shit like that. How the fuck is it that judgment and karma for one don't hit motherfuckers when they doing the fuck wrong? When they are living uh however you want to put it, in sin, ungodly, careless, recklessly, however you want to put it, how the fuck don't calm and judgment hit their ass the fuck then? If you a liar, how come karma and judgment don't hit your ass when you a liar? If you a cheater, how come karma and judgment don't hit your ass when you a cheater? You understand what I'm saying? If you a criminal, how come karma and judgment don't hit your ass when you would a fucking criminal? You understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, back at the fucking ranch, you got the satanic powers that be, the wickedness in high motherfucking places, all these witches, these warlocks, these demons, these satanists, these devil worshippers, these motherfuckers in these secret societies, these cults and these covens, these prostitution rings, human sex trafficking operations, and some more things that ain't never seen karma nor the fuck judgment. Bitch, you can't tell me shit about karma. Or judge me. Judge your motherfucking self. Look your goddamn self in the damn mirror. Fuck you mean. Some of the wickedest, evilest people, they ain't repenting for damn fucking sin. They ain't asking for no motherfucking forgiveness. They ain't praying. They ain't around here hoping, wishing, dreaming. They ain't around here with worry about no faith and no courage and no strength. No, none of that shit. That true believers, those of us who really have faith. See, it's only those of us who really have faith and who truly believe that suffer the most and who has the least. But you want, and we the very ones that you want to fucking tell about some calm and some goddamn judgment. Go tell your government about karma and judgment, bitch. The next time they declare war, tell them about some karma and goddamn judgment, bitch. Don't worry, I'll wait. 
How come karma and judgment didn't ever hit the KKK? Huh? How come karma and judgment didn't hit them motherfuckers that 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 that, that was a a a a a a a fortune a a a segregation and 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 shit? How come karma and judgment never hit uh 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 the neo Nazi ass motherfuckers? Huh? How come karma and judgment they never hit none of them? Don't worry, I'll wait on your answer. Then we can talk about some karma and some goddamn judgment. Common judgment don't never hit none of these witch practitioners. None of these witches, these warlocks, these demons and shit. How come karma and judgment don't never hit? None of these billionaires and trillionaires and millionaires and shit. Huh? How come karma and judgment don't don't, don't none of that? Of the wickedest things that you want to think of ever in history and karma and judgment ain't the fuck touch none of them but this is the dumb shit that people say because this this ain't that ain't nothing but regurgitated ass bullshit that people repeat over and over and over again repetitive shit you heard somebody say this somewhere at some point in time in your life. It sounded halfway right. So you repeat it over and over and over again. Just as everybody else who has ever fucking heard it. And it's bullshit. How come karma and judgment ain't never hit none of these damn people that's around here blood sacrificing folks for money? Going on, clarify the six of cups, nine of swords, loneliness, six of cups, nine of swords, loneliness. So, we got anxiety here, panics here. So, you could be feeling some type of that's that nine of swords type of energy, really. And you don't have to have all of these symptoms. Some, some of you just may be stressed out. Some may be depressed. Some may just be dealing with, uh, you know, anxiety. You're feeling anxious. Some of you may be, you know, scared or, or, or feeling panicked or something like that. Some of you, you may not be feeling particularly stressed or depressed or any or anxiety or scared or anything at all. You just kind of going through, you're going through loneliness. Okay, you're going through what you what you're what you're enduring alone. You know, so this like it's like this dullness and this disappointment while you're in this isolation in your life. Like for me, I don't have a problem with being alone. Like you can't isolate a loner. You can't isolate a natural introvert. As a matter of fact, you done did them a fucking favor. That don't work on everybody. That only works on people who are afraid to be alone or who can't be alone. Uh, those type of people, they will literally lose their mind if they have nobody to talk to, if they have nobody around them, if they have nobody in the company. And this is the reason why this is this is the reason why you see some women like uh, abuse victim women who don't leave their abusers for a long time because they're scared of being alone. It's one of the main things. Before they are scared that, that whoever their abuser is going to come after them, they are scared of being alone. They are scared of doing things on their own. They are scared of being without. You got a lot of people who got toxic friends right now. I know they got toxic friends. But that feeling of not having any friends keeps them in the company of these people that really ain't their damn friends. Some of you got toxic, good for nothing as family members, but you you still mix and mingle with them, and you still around them because you still got that 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 mentality. Oh, this is my family. Oh, this is blood. Da, 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 da. And they don't be more care nothing about that when it come to you. They still screw you over. They still dog you out and everything, whether y'all family the fuck or not. And if it ever comes down between you and them, they will sacrifice you for whatever type of benefit that they can fucking get. 
So we're clarify the Ten of Pentacles with the Magician and Daydream. Ten of Pentacles, Magician, Daydream. Somebody, somebody did something. Um, I'm seeing access granted here. Somebody may have hacked into something. Gain some type of access to your social media through some type of fake profile. Somebody is hiding behind something to like tamper with your money. So if you have like a social media platform or whatever, like I don't get paid shit from YouTube. Okay. I hear so many people complain about YouTube. Oh, they're messing with my money and you're doing this, you're doing that. And these people people that's got 30, 40, 50, 60,000, 100,000 uh damn subscribers and shit. And they get a hundred thousand or more views on their videos and shit. Um and y'all are making these are people who are making thousands of dollars from YouTube a month. Oh, they're playing with my money. They're not giving me anything. You know, people just getting thousand dollar, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollar checks from YouTube every fucking month. Okay? There's some people out here who ain't even getting that. Who might get a hundred dollars in three months. Every three months they might get a hundred dollars. Or some shit. For one whole month. Of content. Doing content every single fucking day. In that month. They might say you done made $30. Knowing they don't cash out to you. At, at least 100 Which means that rolls over into the next month. And say that next month. You might not make but another $30. Still I know that's only $60. They roll over to the next month. You understand what I'm saying? And I be hearing people sitting up complaining about this shit. But at one point in time, this shit didn't even exist. So really and really and truly, this is like would be like a part time, almost like a part time income or like a side hustle type of income or something. Anyway, this would be like an extra bone, you know, extra benefit, like uh, to supplement your income other income that you may have some people who don't have any income at all may be solely depending on this or whatever and it is you know bullshit or whatever but you know them be the people who don't hardly put in no fucking work at all you do one video a damn month one or two videos every two three weeks or some shit and then be like oh my god they're playing with my numbers they're playing with my the, the my money my beauty you're not doing no fucking work And then what you do is half ass. But, you know, no, that's y'all business, honey. That's not a here, not there. Okay? But we have grip here. So somebody has done something to have some, put some type of grip on you, some type of anchor chains to have you weighed down in some type of way. Okay? Um, and I feel like this was done by way of, like, spell work. Okay? With this magician card being here. Because whoever you are, I, I feel like you, you have the capability of being a powerful manifester. But somebody is like counteracting the fact that you are a, a powerful manifester with, with spell work. Okay. So you ever, you ever had a job, got a job and making good money and everything is going good. And then all of a sudden you just lose that job. Somebody is doing spell work on your finances. Somebody don't want you to come up. You ever, and even even if it's not that, like, uh, you ever be doing anything and you doing really good and, and um, you know, like things is going well, seem like you're doing, you know, you, you're successful with whatever you're doing and then all of a sudden it just kind of dies off. Somebody is doing spell work to keep you stuck, to keep you from succeeding, to keep you from progressing. Y'all would be surprised. Those of you who got talent, skills, and abilities and shit, y'all would be surprised. Y'all think these celebrities and shit be too busy and shit, but them motherfuckers be, wherever the fuck they at, they watch all, all the all the low-level people who are online, and they watch everybody else. Okay? Y'all would be surprised the efforts that they go to to prevent other people from coming up and succeeding.
They really do. Like those of them who have already made it and already succeeded and already wealthy and shit, they purposely make it hard for other people to come up and succeed. And it's like they don't want to get the fuck out of the way for uh, uh, a new, the new generation to come up and different things like that or whatever. Like they forever supposed to fucking be there. Like they ain't supposed to retire no fucking time or some shit like that or whatever. But it, it's like it's crazy. And if you are like somebody who is like you, you, you really, really popular, you have a popular following anyway, that's when they'll try to jump on your bandwagon whether they really kind of want you to succeed or not that's when they'll go they'll try to jump on your bandwagon they'll send in their recruiters and different things to offer you some type of sweet deal or some shit because you got such a big following you're so popular they want that energy that's when they send their recruiters in to try to convince you into partnering with them and selling out and in and, and contracts and all this other kind of stuff this is this be when you be seeing them them popular um people that these pop, uh, popular content creators who be you know all of a sudden mixing and mingling with celebrities and different shit like that or whatever and they got like a million followers and they get millions of views on their videos and different shit like that or whatever yeah that'd be that shit but that's what's going on we got waves here okay so this this talks about emotions coming and going here okay so you've definitely had some extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions due to these burdens and hardships, these problematic situations that you this overwhelm the responsibility um, that you've had to deal with but by these people trying to be dictators in your life, trying to dominate you, trying to control you, people within your supposed family, okay, that's causing these troubles in your life on purpose, Spirit is saying, okay. Uh, we got cleansing here. Okay, and I'm also seeing Archangel Michael sticking out here. So continue cleansing. I feel like this is something you do. You may be taking your spiritual baths, meditating, clearing your space, removing negativity, or what have you. This has helped you. Okay, and you know, it's it's not a cure for everything that you're dealing with, but it helps you, you know, in you know, as you move forward or whatever. But with Archangel Michael being here, you have angelic protection. Okay. You have some type of angelic protection. You're prevented from harm. And this also speaks to divine intervention here. But there's definitely a lot of gossip by these petty, jealousy, envy as people working against you. Spirit is saying, look at that. Lost here. Ghosted. Blocked. Cut off. Family. Some of y'all need to, if you have not blocked or cut off these, these these toxic people in your family, you need to because it's your family, your supposed family who is working against you, who is doing this to you. I can't stand no bitches who want everything good for themselves. They want nice cars and nice homes and they want to be married and they want to be beautiful and handsome and they want to have money in the bank and they want to take vacations and be happy and fulfilled and, and have a good career with benefits and all this other kind of shit, but they don't want you to have it. The moment that they see that you succeeding in any type of fucking way, they're, they're going over and beyond to sabotage this for you. You could be staying in, in, in the hood in a fucking shack. They, live, they might be living in a middle class neighborhood someday where in a home. You don't have a car. Because they, they sabotage the vehicle that you have. They have multiple vehicles. And them bitches won't even offer you a ride to the store. To your child's doctor appointment. To the laundromat. Any fucking thing. This y'all all supposed people working against you y'all. That's what's going on here. And they are vigorously attacking you. This is ultimate betrayal, Spirit is saying. Okay? They are literally trying to force you to homelessness, Spirit is saying. And they're going to sit back and watch. If you would, if there was ever a day that you was homeless and out on the street, these people would probably drive right past you. Look dead up in your face. Probably record you and, and post it on social media or some shit. Or call up other family members and their other friends and laugh and giggle and talk about the shit. Or they might, uh, if, if, if the, the, the ones of them that's real low down and dirty, they might pull up and be like, oh, you need two, three dollars, you okay? Oh, what's going on? What's wrong? I hate them bitches because they know exactly what the fuck is going on. They the ones that fucking do. That when they be when the witches when when motherfuckers that you ain't seen or talked to or dealt with at all just pops the fuck up. They're witches. Sometimes witches will pop up to see if they spell work and shit is working. 
Yeah. You could be closed off, guarded, and resistant right now. What else is going on? What else is going on? So we got memories and nostalgia here. Okay, that's that. Um, that's that. Um, Six of Cups type of energy here. You closed off, guarded, and resistant. Um, and you thinking back on the past, okay? You probably regretting people that you were kind to, that you were generous to, that you bought nice, lavish gifts for, and different things like that. You probably thinking back how you could have saved that money. How could you? How you could have bought you a new car? Yeah, I could have bought me a new car uh, several times over. I could have got me a nicer home a long time ago. <laughs> but I didn't. And I was still generous and giving to others. But in my mind, I was saving. I was going to save money and, and build up money. And at one point in time, I had like probably like $15,000, $20,000 in the bank or what have you. And so what they do is because these people are stalking you, because these people are watching you, they hack into your bank accounts or different things like this. And they want to say when they know that you have money saved up, they will create a crisis, create a tower moment, like make you lose your job. Or something. Now you have to spend your savings to live and to survive. You understand? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Or keep sabotaging your vehicle. That way, you have to keep paying to get your vehicle fixed. And then when you take your vehicle to the the shop, they have the the sold out, good for nothing ass mechanic to overcharge you, especially if you're a single mother, or not a single woman. I meant, especially if you're a single mother, these mechanics will overcharge you. Okay. Yeah. So we got disharmony triggers and conflict here. Okay. These people have caused you disharmony, uh, trying to trigger you, causing conflict in your life by causing these burdens, hardships, and problematic situations. Spirit is saying. You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio individual going through this, okay? But you continue to focus on self-love, your creations as well as your intentions, okay? Because you have, and continue cleansing, you have the protection of Archangel uh, Michael here as well, okay? But these people are still working against you behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Yeah, you know the truth. With truth and expression here, you know the truth. And you speak the truth. And it's probably one of the things that you that they don't like about you. Okay? They're attacking you because you speak the truth. But you're also getting some type of assistance from your spirit guides as well. Yeah. You're going to have some type of epiphany. There's going to be some type of breakthrough that's going to occur for you. But you do, yeah, because you're you're in your north node. You're in your cosmic energy. You're in your life purpose. Okay? And that's what they don't like. Okay? You could be feeling guarded and vulnerable right now as well. Okay? But there's some type of growth that is coming in for you. Spirit says trust, divine timing. Okay? And I, I understand what you may be feeling right now. Okay? Uh, it seems like divine timing can take a long time. Okay, divine timing uh, could be years. Okay, divine timing could be all your damn life. I've been waiting on divine timing for about to be 40 years. Okay, so okay, it is what it is, honey. But that's what's going on here, y'all. We got feminine here at the bottom of the deck, so you could be a feminine energy who is dealing with this, who is going through this. Okay. That's what's going on here, y'all. Um, but yeah, keep your head up and don't allow the, 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 the enemy to get you down, okay? And keep speaking your truth. Keep speaking clarity, okay? Because the enemy wants to shut you up. The enemy wants you to give up. The enemy wants to uh, lower your self-esteem, lower your confidence, make you feel uh, like uh, less than, like you are unworthy by rejecting you, okay? You need to understand the people who are rejecting you are toxic anyway. 
they toxic, they sinister, they sell outs anyway. They're rejecting you because um, you know, you you're not a part of the 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 evil, wicked shit that they are a part of, so they attack you because of it. Okay. But you have lived and you have learned, okay? And at the end of the day, you 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 know how to love you even when nobody else do, okay? And it's sad that um, you have to endure this level of hatred and bitterness and heartache and pain from your own supposed people, okay? But unfortunately, that's what's going on here, guys. I do thank you all for listening and for watching. Also, by the way, guys, I, that water energy came out. You don't necessarily have to be a water sign. Um, you could be another, like, you could have water in your chart somewhere, okay? Um, you could be water sign, sun, moon, or rising. You could just have it in your chart somewhere, okay? But you could, it is possible for you to be another sign. We did have some other energy that come out here as well. Or what have you, but that, that water energy uh, could have... Uh, that it came out because of the feelings and emotions that you feel. You know, the, the cups, the water, it's all about feelings. It's all about emotions and different things like that or what have you. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. And don't worry about being alone. Okay. Sometimes it's better to be alone. Sometimes it's safer that way. You understand what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't let nobody make you feel some type of way about being alone. Okay, because if you just think about it, if you were in if you were in the company of 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 your haters, if you were in the company of your oppressors, if you were in the company of the people who were smelling in your face while stabbing you in your back, you might have been gone a long time ago. Okay, because they would have been uh, closer to you to attack you. I might show y'all some pictures one day. Um, of how I looked when uh, before I knew that before spirit made me aware that they were doing heavy heavy spell work on me I didn't notice for a long time and then um, I, I noticed when um, I had lost about shit I don't know anywhere from like 50 to 80 pounds in like one month and and I was just like really upset and I was really distraught and I was really going through and I happened to be looking in the mirror at myself one day and I just looked totally different. And then um, I was crying and upset and I was flipping through some pictures and I got a tattoo on my, on my um, arm. And so the picture that I had took that I was looking at, you could only see the end of that name that's on my arm. And the, the last part of that name is E-A-T. And it said eat. I didn't realize that I was I was being hit with spell work so hard. I was going days and days without eating and I wasn't even hungry. I was going days and days without sleeping and I wasn't even tired. You know what I'm saying? This is like when you want the heavy, heavy spell work. It's like the days fly by like it's like you know what i'm saying all kinds of shit or whatever and so um i had to get to the point where i was just like just end up stuffing my face i was just eating 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 um just to get my weight back up or what have you um because i was being hit with such heavy spell work like if y'all showed y'all those pictures y'all y'all wouldn't even think i was the same person i kid you not um and then this was actually when I was still in the same house with my ex and everything or whatever. But I remember prior to that, like, I was under heavy spell work, like, the whole time. There was different things that started happening or what have you. Like, they, they, they attacked my appearance, like, really, really bad at first with the uh, spell work. Um, different areas of my body, my teeth. Um, all kinds of things but prior to that they was also doing the spell work on my child and so there was things that I was noticing before I noticed the spell work about me and like it had gotten so bad I'll never forget I went in my daughter room one time and she was she was drawing some real she draws uh, and things like that she was drawing some really weird things toxic things or whatever like real like sinister like skulls and bones and um, you know 
pictures of, of, of people with blood gushing out and cut open and all this other kind of shit or whatever and then like I never let her watch like no gruesome type of shit or whatever and then she was also drawing like sexually explicit type of stuff and I'm like what the fuck and so um one time I went in her room and I'm straightening up her room and right there at her door on the floor I found this coin and this coin it had it looked like um it looked like a bow dollar size coin and um if y'all don't know what a bow dollar is it's like it's a it's a it's bigger it's a little bit bigger than a quarter but it's worth a dollar um but I found this coin, y'all, and it had, it was like, um, I knew what it was when I seen it. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, where did she get this? And at the time, my daughter was like way younger and she used to like, um, she was in that phase where she used to like, um, you know, playing in dirt, acting like she's like, you know, you know, with the little, with the little teacups and plates and everything, act like she's baking little stuff, cooking, little stuff, you know, what I'm saying? picking stuff off the ground, different things like that, rocks and all this other kind of stuff or whatever. So I was used to her getting different little stuff or whatever. And, um, but anyway, I found this coin, y'all, and on one side of it was like a, a pentagram. And on the other side of it, I ended up, I think I threw the shit away. I think I threw this shit away. Somebody gave that shit to my child. Okay? And that shit was cursing. There was a heavy fucking curse placed on that fucking coin. And it was cursing me and my daughter. And they was like grooming and brainwashing my daughter at the time. My daughter used to draw these pictures. And it was so interesting because it was like, um, she was using numerology. Like, um... But she was way young. She like she didn't understand what she was drawing, but like I did. And um it would be like she would take a whole sheet of paper. And you know how how money looks, you know, with the different like money symbol notes or whatever. She would draw this and whatever little picture she would put in the middle of it. But like, you know, where the dollar amount it would be like Three 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 comma three 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 comma 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 and then she would make some other ones that was like six 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 comma six 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 comma six 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 comma six 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 you know what I'm saying I'm saying and I'm like what in the fuck and um this is around this time she would draw these really extravagant pictures y'all like of people and I'm talking about like whole like dress attire like beautiful gown type of attires and it was so elaborate and, and she was like drawing this by hand like no tracing or uh, nothing or whatever and it, it was like really elaborate it was like with the boob you know the little chi chis pumping up out the, the the dress and the hips and you could see the shapes and the sizes of the women and different things she was drawing and I'm like what the fuck and so spirit told me I'm like somebody is telling her that you know, she will be like really glamorous or some type of model or something like that or whatever. And she will have all of this money if she worked with, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe they was telling her to work against me. They was like brainwashing her, my own child, to work the fuck against me and different shit like this. Or whatever. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I knew I had to get me and my child to fuck up out of there, y'all. I didn't give a fuck. Like, I don't even, I couldn't, I couldn't even explain to you where the strength came from that I that I got y'all but like it, it was like the Russian fucking mighty wind okay like shit just fell into place and I was like I told God I'm like I don't I don't care what I gotta give up what I gotta go without what what just helped me and my child get up out this situation and I didn't ask anybody for for anything I don't I don't ask nobody for nothing and so this was still at the brink of my awakening and I and I'm I'm figuring out a little bit by a little bit what's going on and at this time I'm not knowing that the people closest to me is in on this shit. So it including my ex or whatever. Cause I hadn't got that far to know that the, these folks was ops and the gang stalkers and they are part of everything that's going on. They know exactly what's going on. So I you know I had my own we had our own money and everything like that or whatever. I'm like Look, I I had my car hadn't broke down then, okay, and um, it had sat there forever. My ex refused to 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 to, to help me get my car fixed, even though I had to help her get plenty of car fixed and get cars and different things like that, get her money and all this other kind of shit. 
And when I had the money to get another car, I needed a co-signer. And after being with her for years, this is somebody I was with for 11 years now, 10, 11 years now, okay? At the time, we, was, we had been together for six, seven years, okay? Absolutely refused. Hated on me, didn't want me to have another vehicle. So I ended up being without a vehicle at the time when all of this is going on or whatever. And I ended up having to sell that vehicle, okay, just to make Christmas happen for them one year like prior or whatever so went out of vehicle and my daughter when my daughter was diagnosed with her disability she was having problems transitioning in school and she was having a lot of problems in school and I was sitting getting calls and all this other kind of stuff and she was had been diagnosed with all these different di uh, disabilities and different things and she was like because she was diagnosed with ADHD, ODD, PICA and like all kinds of shit and taking medicines and all kinds of shit and trying to transition so I had to stop working for a little while just to make sure that she was okay and just just so like if these people call me like I can be there for her like I can go to the school you know right away and be there and this and the other whatever y'all it was crazy so by the time all of this shit happened it's like, oh my god, I need another vehicle. I need a vehicle. I need to figure out how to fucking move. Like, where are we going to move? Like, what am I going to do? I need to find another job. You know what I'm saying? Like, all kinds of stuff or whatever. Like, y'all, I don't even know where my strength came from. Like, it had, it came from the most high. It came from a high power. Trust and believe me. It wasn't no witch, no warlock, no demon, no, no devil that helped me. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all, I got some strength that I didn't even know I fucking had, y'all. To get me and my baby up out of there. And I was so pissed off. And and, and, and then what really pushed it over the edge. Is because like I said. I don't ask nobody for nothing. And the woman that's supposed to be my mother. Me and her done beef my entire life. This woman has always mistreated me. And I never asked this woman for nothing. I have my own money. I'm like. I need your help with my daughter. I'm like. I, you know this woman did not offer her home. She knew what was going on. What we was dealing with. And it was all other type of shit that had happened. Um, end up going through an abusive situation. All kinds of kind of shit or whatever that was right in front of my door. Like all kinds of shit, y'all. This woman did not offer her home. You got a three-bedroom home. It's nobody there but you and your husband. But she the type that think, you know, like, like she she didn't offer no help to me and my child, okay? Um. She, she wanted them types that would think that her man was looking at me or I was looking at it as if I would fuck something that you would fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bitches, you serious? You know what I'm saying? But I'm in then I'm like, so I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, well, look, fuck me. You don't have to do nothing for me. Help me with my daughter. All I need you to do, look, we got our own money. I can pay you. Just allow her to be there. I'm going to pick her. I'm going to have her all day, every day. I'm going to pick her up, you know, when she got to go to school. Uh, you know what I'm saying, take care of all her food, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, that, you know, that woman did not help me and my child, so I knew I had to do it on my own, and I don't even know where the strength, where the power, where whatever came from, and that's when I got a job at the cab company, because the cab company, working for the cab company, they give you a vehicle, and you can keep that vehicle with you, you just have to pay for that vehicle every day, it was like, it's like $75 a day for the vehicle or whatever. So I'm like, okay, boom, there go a vehicle. So while I was still staying there, I was able to work. And I worked like day and night, y'all. I saved up like about six, seven, eight, like eight racks or whatever. Um, Within a few months or what have you. And then I, I almost threw it all away because I found out that my supposed brother hadn't got locked up. And I was I was gonna go and I was gonna spend it all to get him bailed out. But by the time I found out about it and called up there, he had to been bailed out already. So I'm like, okay, or whatever. So um, with him using, he got locked up for using some counterfeit money or some other shit, whatever. Um, so I'm like, okay. And so I had the money. I found a place. Like, I don't even know how. So just driving around one day with the cab driving, I ended up finding this place. And and I was like, I was able to rent directly from the landlord without going through all the extra bullshit or whatever. So I'm like, great. And it was something I can afford or whatever. So I'm like, okay. And like, everything just kind of fell into fucking place, y'all. But I don't even understand where that shit. Because I literally went from us. We, we was like, would have been up shit street. Okay. Like, nothing like I needed to find a vehicle 
a job and a place to stay like right the fuck away to get us up out that situation and the most time made it happen that's the reason why i don't give a fuck what these bitches say what these bitches do bitch you you bitch you couldn't pay me to sell my goddamn soul because that strength that power that came from another power and it did not come from them one of these uh witches warlocks uh uh uh, uh, uh leaders of these damn cults covens or secret societies it didn't come from the fucking pay powers that motherfucking be it didn't come from the wickedness in high place it didn't come from none of them motherfuckers okay because if it was up to them i would still be blind brainwashed dumbed down under mind control if it was up to them i'd still be living in the fuck sin i still be, you don't understand what i'm saying so i don't give a fuck what no god did anybody say y'all i told y'all one of these days i'm gonna tell y'all my testimony honey and you likely not to believe it but um because i've been through a whole lot okay this is for real okay and i don't tell y'all this shit but no sympathy no empathy no pity no remorse no none of that shit okay um this is just what the fuck is real okay and um <laughs> You know, it, and it's just, it's, it's been vigorous ever since. So it's like ever since, you know, me and my my, my daughter, um, you know, moved from around with my ex. And I'm not living that lifestyle anymore. We get away. They've been making our life a living hell. And it's just been like this, like, y'all, it's been the worst. I done went through shit my entire life. But this has been the worst 10 years of my fucking life. I'm about to be 40, y'all, okay? This shit has been going on since I was 30 at the beginning of my awakening, y'all. And it's just, it's it's relentless bullshit. It almost is unbelievable that it has been this long because, like, like I said, this has been going on since I was 30. I knew for sure they were going to take me out at 33. You know how the powers that be like they numerology and then it's bad enough that i was born on fucking three six you understand what i'm saying so i knew for sure they were gonna take me at 33 i knew they were gonna give me a 36 okay i you know i'm 39 like you know what i'm saying like you flip that nine you got a six like you in this motherfucker so you know what i'm saying I'm up here, I'm sitting up here doing the numerology right along with these bitches. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, I'm ready to say go, it's whatever. I'm just trying to make sure that my baby is good should anything happen to me. You understand what I'm saying? This is this is how the fuck I felt. Well, then I realized, this was before I realized they are also attacking my child. Baby, this gave me a whole nother boost of strength because I'm like, these bitches, I'm like, I'm like, cause at first, cause I'm like, okay, they working the fuck against me, but surely, you know, they not gonna be working against a child, they not gonna be working against my child, they want me gone, bitch, you know, and if it's my time to go, then deuces, bitch, I'll be back, you know what I'm saying, this is how I feel about it, you know, we can do this shit again, you know, and then I feel like, I, I realize you working against my child, baby, you done gave me a whole nother boost of fucking energy now, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like mother bear beast in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Going through for me and my fucking child. Because I'm like, these bitches is not only working against me. They working against my child. Bitch, now y'all got to kill me in this motherfucking cold blood. You understand what I'm saying? So, y'all look. Honey, stay prayed up. Okay? Cleanse your energy. Cleanse your space. Do what you got to do from one day to the next. Okay? Um, and don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about this, don't don't fear death, and don't worry about none of this materialistic ass shit that they want to dangle in your face, and get to you, and take away from you, and get to you, and shit, like you, 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 you some little kid, or some shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they want to, uh, punish, and you want, they want to treat you one minute, punish you the next minute, put you in time out the next minute, fuck that, fuck that. Okay, do the best that you can do um, the best way you know how, okay, and lead the rest of that shit to a higher power, okay, and chunk the deuces at them bitches, okay, because this, in a minute, all of this shit is going to be null and motherfucking void, okay, period, point blank. I thank y'all for listening and for watching. Till the next time, guys, uh, peace, love, and light. Um, Y'all know how to contact me, tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, y'all can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. 
Um, as always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.